Here we have set up the solo variant for La Isla. The setup is exactly the same as the base game with a few small changes. Let's take a look at those changes. <laughs> Choose one color and set up yourself as usual. The Royal Society will use explorers from the three remaining colors. Take five explorers of one color and place one of those explorers on the zero space of the score track. Two will be used in the inner ring and the other two will be set aside for now. You will need four explorers of another color for the middle ring and all explorers of the remaining color for the outer ring. Deal yourself a starting hand of cards but do not deal any cards for the Royal Society yet. Now that we've looked at the setup changes, let's take a look at the rule changes. You are the first player and you take your turn as normal. Any Royal Society Explorer is considered another player's explorer for the advanced cards. For gameplay purposes, all of the Royal Society's Explorers are considered to be the same color as their score marker. The Royal Society's turns follow yours and follow a three round repeating pattern. In round one, one at a time, flip over two cards from the deck, looking only at the cube color in the card's bottom left. Place the Royal Society Explorers on all matching colored spaces in the inner ring. If the second card shows the same color as the first. Place the second explorer in the next clockwise space. Check for and score any captured animals. Then flip over a third card and looking only at the bottom right, advance the matching research track one space. In round two, you repeat the steps of round one, except this time the Royal Society will place explorers on the matching spaces in the middle ring for a total of four explorers placed. Check for captured animals and advance one animal track just as round one. In round three, this time flip over only one card and place two Royal Society explorers on the matching colored spaces in the outer ring. Check for captures. Then flip over two additional cards and advance the research track for both matching animals. They may be the same animal twice. The Royal Society scores for each advancement. After the third round, remove all the Royal Society's explorers from the inner and middle rings, but do not remove them from the outer ring, for, the, for they will be on the board for the rest of the game. Repeat this cycle every three rounds until the game ends. If you run out of Royal Society Explorers to place on the outer ring, use the two previously set aside to fill the final two spaces. Okay, so what did I like? Well, it's easy to play. The Royal Society is easy to manage and you truly feel like you're only playing one game, yours. The most thinking you have to do for the AI is the explorer placement and checking for captures. You end up focusing solely on your gameplay. I also like the board manipulation. Because the Royal Society follows a protocol when placing explorers, you have this new board manipulation mechanic that isn't uh, as present in the base game. You can learn to use the Royal Society's eagerness to your advantage. Learning to do so is a fun new part of play. What didn't I like? Well, setting up the board and the chits right away again isn't the biggest pain, but it isn't the quickest. You may find yourself not wanting to play again because it isn't a quick transition between each game. I also didn't like that the Royal Society is going to rack up the end game points. So it is up to you to build a big enough lead to survive. 
You have to spend time throwing wrenches in their plans or else you will be passed up very quickly at the end game. The end game bonuses seem almost too powerful for the society. Overall, this is a light solo game with an acceptable setup and takedown time. It plays true to the base but offers a new wrinkle with the pace and area control of the society. Its AI ease makes it very playable, and its card drawing randomness adds to the replayability. Hey, I'm Hans, and if you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe below, and good things will happen for you forever.